New at 4, Dorchester District 2's board has voted to uphold an appeal for a book that has been in the district's libraries. Our Ray Urena joining us now at district headquarters in Somerville. Ray, this was the first book challenged under the district's recently updated library materials policy. Yeah, and, and the title of the book is called Stamped Racism, Anti-Racism, and you. District officials tell me that it's been in their libraries for at least a year, and at least for now, that's where it'll stay. Now, for DD2 board members, they voted six to one to uphold the, the appeal from the District Citizens Review Committee during a called meeting this morning. Kelly Bates was the lone board member who voted against the appeal, stating she felt that the book violated the district's policies and state law. Board members had 20 days to render their decision. They add the material isn't being taught in any classes, and it is just another book in the library's catalog. Cynthia Powell is one of the board members who voted in upholding the appeal. She says she encourages parents to read the book with their children so they can have a discussion with them about its contents rather than trying to remove it. What is being said in this book that is inaccurate? If you say it's inaccurate, show me where it's inaccurate because I want to know. If it's political, what do you expect to gain as a result? To me, um, the proviso doesn't allow this ideology to be taught in our schools and our policy specifically states that it needs to be pertinent to our curriculum and educational objectives. So when evaluating those two in conjunction with each other, I felt like it didn't meet the standards required. And although the book will be allowed to stay on the library shelves for now, several board members tell me that they expect this book to be challenged again in the near future. Live in Somerville, Ray Arena, Live 5 News.